I bring greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I got a word from the Lord recently, just a few days ago, and I want to share it with us because it is very, very important. I was thinking about restitution, and I, I actually listened to a message where a man of God was talking about restitution, and I so much loved the video because it gave a lot of details. And that ministry gives a lot of attention to restitution as far as doctrinal practice is concerned. And I really loved what we are saying. So I was thinking about this restitution and the Lord spoke to me. The Lord told me that a lot of people have now deified restitution, that they kind of worship restitution. They feel like it is the only thing they need to do to enter the kingdom of God. And I was kind of, God, why would you say this? Restitution is not bad. The Lord made me, made me to understand that restitution is a must. If we are born again, we have to uh, reconcile with those we have wronged and we must we also need to make sure that we do what is right. The things we did in ignorance or uh, with our two eyes open, there is need to reconcile with people. For instance, you stole something from someone, there is need for you to return it. You don't need to uh, continue to live with that thing. You don't need to continue to uh, make use of that property while the owner is still in pain. You need to go and do restitution. So what the Lord told me is that people have forgotten. A lot of people now forget about the sanctification of their spirit, sanctification of their spirit, that they focus on the physical aspect alone and forget about sanctifying their spirit. Uh, for me to make the mix someone who may not understand what sanctification means uh, to fully understand this message. Sanctification is the is growing in grace after repentance and baptism. After you have given your life to Jesus Christ, you need to grow in grace. You need to be set apart for the Lord. If you were if you were in the world and now you have come to know Christ, you need to you need to be set apart. You need to be made holy. You need to be separated from your sinful ways. This is sanctification. It is purification and setting apart unto the Lord Jesus Christ. A lot of people don't care about their spirits being sanctified. Um, before many come to know the Lord, they... Uh, may have been possessed by demonic spirits or their spirits may have been defiled maybe by some level of covenants by some level of uh, demonic agreements but now that you have come to know the Lord you need it's not just your body that is saved it is not just your spirit it is not just your soul but it is every part of you the spirit the body the soul that is saved so if you are doing restitution meeting people to tell them that oh i was once a criminal now i have repented from my criminality i was once an arm robber i was once a, a fornicator a, a rapist and now i have repented please forgive me for all i've done these are your properties as you do this physically you also need to ask the lord to sanctify you and if there be any form of con contamination of your spirit you need to repent of that you need to uh, denounce uh, renounce every form of covenant, every form of demonic agreements, so that your whole being, your body, your spirit, and your soul can be wholly set apart for the Lord. I don't know who I am actually talking to. I know this message actually came because of someone, and I want you to take this to the Lord in prayer and also take it uh, to your place of meditation. Ask the Lord. Am I sanctified? Is my spirit sanctified? Am I truly saved? It is not just about confessing the Lord. We also need to allow Him to cleanse us and purify us. 
and set us apart for his work. I have seen some people who are very zealous for the work of the Lord, but they are not saved because there are some levels of um, spiritual contamination. Um, this also includes things like soul tie, um, covenants. It involves some level of um, uh, demonic uh, activities that we engaged in in the past. When we are saved, when we receive the Lord as our personal Lord and Savior, there is need for us to renounce every form of covenant and every form of uh, thing that can contaminate us. Uh, even things like eating full sacrifice to idols and there are some demonic covenants attached to these things, including um, entering some, uh, I mean, some um, in Africa, a lot of people, uh, they use talisman, they use concussion, they do some level of invocations and incantations. All, all these things need to be broken because they don't just defile your body, they also defile your spirit. Thank you for watching. I'm Hosanna David. Uh, you can visit our website, eagleeyeopener.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. I just set up a new website so that people can have my sermons uh, download, downloadable. Uh, HosannaDavid.com. You can go and download sermons and MP3 and also videos there. God bless you. Bye-bye.